Okay, so we just finished Bebel's route. It's pretty standard good route, I feel like. I really like insane people, so I feel like that's a good hook for me. So what is your name? We're gonna continue with more? Yes, I am sure. I am more. An empty hall. Or is it more like a cave? You wander the empty space for what feels like an eternity before happening upon six doors. You sense different but vaguely familiar presences on the other sides of each. And he'll exhale. Okay, let's take deep breaths, because I feel like it's just gonna get worse from here. Somehow, you know that your journey won't end and you've passed through all of them. It may take as long as or as little as you'd like, but you must still pick a door. Now then, Mar, which will it be? Okay, so, we just finished battle. And, hmm, I actually want to do Altera's route right now. I want to save Fleon for last, because, I don't know. He's the end there, I think. And I just, they're my favorite. So I want to save the favorite for last. It's kind of like when you save the cherry on a cake, you know? Because it's your favorite. Not to say I don't love everyone else, but you know, in terms of tropes. So I'm going to choose Altera this time. Okay. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Not going to lie. The Ice Plane of Elysium. I knew it was an ice thing. After I pass through the door of many in the dark, I wound I'd wound up I don't know how to read, oh my god, I'd wound I'd wound up in an unheard of land called that. I recognize no one. The villagers seem kind enough, albeit hesitant, to step out of line to speak with me. I'd notice their looks though. They know I'm not from here. Three days spent here and I'd already heard the barkeep whispering his to his regulars. It may be because of how I'm dressed. Everyone else roaming the streets is aristocratic, robed in furs and lace, and I am in my gross pajamas with cheese pop stains. <laughs> I try asking as many people as I can about the guild hall, but it's no use. Nobody knows what Tempest is. That's just me in school. <laughs> I'm sorry. I seek shelter from the cold weather in an empty library at the edge of the city. This library actually looks modern. Altair, the leader of Guild Tempest, had always advised me to research before digging too deep into unknown territory. Knowing local dangers, politics, or even just a lay of the land could save your life if you've set out on a quest. That's true. And I didn't read anything about Doppelganger before getting here, so I'm clearly not taking that advice. This is going to take a while. As I make my way through the aisles of books, one of them stands out from the others around it. Elysium's Truth, it's titled. Elysium's Truth? Drawn in by the title inscribed on the spine, I reach for the book. Oh my god! An elegantly dressed man brushes his hands with me. With me? So we do it together? Poised and refined. When he looks, up, when he looks at me, it's as if he's gazing upon an insect. His expression is as cold as the weather outside. Bro, elegantly isn't even cutting it. He's out here wearing a whole costume. But it's a face I'm familiar with. My eyes do a double take over him. It takes a moment for me to comprehend his expression. Altair? Oh my god, I love that face. I, I love that expression. Oh my god. Okay. He takes the Elysian's Truth book from the shelf first. After lowering it to his side, he passes me a smile. Yes? Though he watches me expectantly, I've realized there's something just a little off. Isn't he taller than Altair? <laughs> I'm laughing, but he's significantly taller than me. Um, it's the horns. Okay, I'm. Isn't he taller than Altair by a couple of centimeters? It's the horns. It's like Malius from Twisted Wonderland. I check the shoes he's wearing. It'd certainly be taller than Altair, even without the shoes on. Something wrong? He has the same voice as him. Everything else is right. I'd often heard this tone from Altair when he worried about me staying up too late studying maps. Are we our photographer? Maybe he just hit a post-guild anniversary ghost spurt. <laughs> is that a thing? Can I hit it? Either that or I'm just remembering wrong. Did you get taller? I don't think so. Weird. 
You scared me. I didn't know where you ran off to, Mar. <gasps> he knows us! The guild's really, really far from here. It'll be a while before we get back. He knows my name. He knows about the guild. I don't trust him. You can't tell me Altair just got isekai twice. That's unfair. I haven't been isekai one time. Can't, bro, le leave some for the rest of us. I'm probably worried for nothing. Sis, no, you've been here for three days. Like my Halloween costume? Maybe to ease my anxiety, Alter lifts the ends of his cape and slings it behind him so it flutters. Come to think of it, my last memories of the real Elysium had been around Halloween too. It's cool. But it's hard for me to pay attention to something like that. If I'm honest, I don't know where this place is or how I wound up here. I've never seen a place called the Ice Plain on the maps back in the Guild Hall. Most people haven't. Guild newbies especially don't get access to those kinds of maps. I'm scared. After all, the Ice Plain's a dangerous place. I'd be crazy to send any of you guys this far out. That doesn't explain this, but okay. That makes sense. I was attacked by mon monsters on the way in. I managed to handle it by myself, though. Must be thanks to your training. Okay, so we're capable. We're not one of those damsel protagonists. No way, that's all you. Don't sell yourself short. I feel less on guard. Any difference I'd sense really must have just been my imagination. We really sh we should get some rest before heading back to the guild hall, yeah? If we turn in early tonight, we can leave first thing in the morning. Alter slips the book we'd both taken interest in somewhere on his person. That's so suspicious. Is that okay? Don't underestimate Tempest Connections. I'll fill the owner on it later. Hmm. Come on, Mar. Let's go home. Hmm. Alter and I venture through the Ice Plain Kingdom streets. He leads the way with his unusual wait wait sorry. He leads the way with his usual charisma and I follow without thinking. We reminisce about the other members of the guild. He even tells me funny stories one at a time about all of them. From times even before I joined. He's being too kind. I don't know. This is suspicious. The journey doesn't feel long and before I know it, we stop in front of the castle at the head of the kingdom. Yo, he's loaded! Even though it's freezing out- Oh, sorry. Even though it's freezing out here, the gardeners managed to keep the plants green. Uh -huh, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> we move eventually into the castle itself. Horned guards and servants bow to us as we proceed, hall after hall. This is not a Halloween costume, Mar. Bro, you can't- No? Coming upon the throne room, I can't help but feel a bit awkward. Yeah, in contrast, Altair isn't phased by it at all because he's, he's so used to it, Mar. He stays cheerful despite the dreary and intimidating surroundings. It just so happens that I'm friends with the royalty here, but it looks like they're not here. Friends? People don't just let you in the castle easily without them there just because you're friends. Mind if I go to the servant quarter so I can let them know what's up first? All things going well, we'll enjoy a full six-course dinner and huge fluffy beds to sleep in tonight. I'll be right back. Sure, I'll wait here. Cool, thanks. Alter gives me a polite wave and a hurriedly turns to head inside. In the same moment, the book falls out of his cape without him seeing, seeming to notice. I bend over to pick it off the floor for him. Before I can let him know, he's already left for the hall. I guess I can read through the book a little while waiting since it seemed interesting. Elysium's truth, huh? He'd been really sad on reading it. I open it to the first page. Prologue, the hollow tree. To understand the true Elysium, we must first understand the hollow tree. Thinking back on it now, I hadn't seen the hollow tree at all. Here at all. Shouldn't such a distinct landmark be visible from even far away? Yes, Mar, because you're not here. I continue skimming the pages one by one, flipping through. Chapter 1. The Founding of Guild Tempest. 
Wait a second. This book is Chapter 4, The Land of Sino Kuni. It seems to be an encyclopedia about my home. Our home. Why would he be so set on reading about a land he lives in and knows firsthand? Mar, you're also reading it, but okay, I won't judge. He's our leader. He's the one who's led so many of the expeditions. Ah, okay, makes sense. Another chapter title towards the end catches my eye. Chapter 10, Return to the True Elysium. Return? As in we're not already there after all? Don't scare me like that! I jolt and drop the book when he suddenly comes back into view. <laughs> Whoops, forgot my book. I'll need to take that with me. I'll tear crouches to collect it from the ground. As he does the bird the bird <laughs> As he does the dirt off its surface, I collect my breath. I'm scared. What's so special about the book, Altair? Don't worry, I don't want it. Let's ask. What's so special about the book, Altair? Dot dot dot. It's the only copy in existence. A deep read on the world we live in and its secrets. Don't you ever wonder about parallel worlds? I look at him for a long time. It's like his eyes see through me, like they see something that I don't. Not really. <laughs> you mean you've never wondered what another might you might be like? Uh, you mean you've never wondered what another you might be like? I hope other me is able to read and is smart. I just try to I just try to take things day by day. I've got enough to deal with. It's not like guild life is always rainbows and daisies. You know that better than anyone. Oh my god. Oh, it's so scary! Why, why did you become serious? Don't worry, I don't want it. Don't worry, I don't want your book. I just want to know where I really am. <laughs> Silly Mar, we're in the ice plane. It's a dangerous land of demons, far from central Elysium. So you so you grow a couple centimeters in height and came out all this way in your Halloween costume to find me? I don't know, Mar. Yeah, I know, right? Saying it out loud makes it sound all the more ridiculous. Yeah, the boys and I split up. They're checking the other areas like the fire plane and the skeleton country. Skeleton country is where battle is. The world we live in is bigger than historians ever let on. When the land is overrun by corruption beasts, it makes sense that only the strongest of adventurers are able to document and publish their findings and maps. Plenty of people never make it back. Are you saying we're not making it back? Oh my god, it's that face again. Tell me where the hollow tree is. Tell me where the hollow tree is. It's too far to see it from here. But it can be seen even from Zeno Kuni. Something so big would it just up and vanish? Not unless we were on another plane of existence or something, yeah? Look, Altair, I just want you to tell him to me straight. You're lying to me. Yes, Mar! Go, girl! Oh shit, the music stopped. What if I told you the reason we don't see the hollow tree anymore is because it doesn't reach this place? Oh my god, that voice! <laughs> what if I told you we were in a different world entirely? That the world we're in now is some kind of subworld anomaly. It's temporary and will likely la only last for a season. He drops the act. I see it in his posture. I you know his the freaking face, the expression, it's so good. He had adjusted himself and tried to make himself seem more approachable while acting as the guild leader only I know. However, a faint atmosphere about him is cruel and regal nature bleeds true without him actively needing to try if you told me that i'd believe you are you afraid of this world disappearing i want to know your real name wait what <laughs> it just a so hmm okay um oh, are you afraid of this world disappearing Oh my god, his question marks! <laughs> I'd ask him out of sincerity, but he laughs at the question in a mocking way. He, talk he takes a moment to collect himself before his face slowly returns to its original state. Don't be ridiculous. Listen to me. Before anything else, I need something from you. 
Why should I trust you? Very well. Just how much of that book did you read? Hunters look like tests me. Not very much, honestly. I was mostly skimming the chapter titles. So you saw it then. Which part? Chapter 10. Return to the True Elysium. I saw that, yeah. The True Elysium is probably my home, isn't it? Where the real Altair is. Real? Crap, maybe I should have phrased it like that. Oh my god. It's so scary! That's kinda hard, but it's scary! I can't meet his eyes for some stretch of time. Seeming to let what I'd say pass through, the, the stranger speaks once more. I'm scared. Listen to me. Dear Mar, allow me to make things very clear to you. This book holds secrets that only you, as a resident of the other Elysium, can help come to fruition. <laughs> is he gonna sacrifice us? Neither Elysium is any more or less or real than the other. Despite knowing that, you'd like to see the Tempest members again, wouldn't you? So again, he takes my wrists and pulls me closer. He's so gonna sacrifice us. Oh my god, he got close. His voice is low and he whispers into my ear, one syllable plucked evenly after the other. I need something from you. For blood! In, <laughs> in exchange. I will help you with- And in exchange, I will help you- Oh my god, return you to the true Elysium once you give it to me. While it's true that I'm called a demon king by rivaling lands, I can be quite benevolent should one know when to humble themselves and simply obey. Oh my god! Demon King Regis! You are Demon King Regis? Bro, do we, did we really need to go to this place just to see Demon King Regis? Sublime, you were you've heard of me through him. Yeah, because up there is a demon king. I knew there had to be a tear in our worlds by how much more often we'd seen each other in our sleep lately. Well, him and his nightmares. I'm never kind to him. The sadistic smile that spreads across his lips instills a fear in me like that of a cornered animal. That doesn't really look like a sadistic smile, but okay. Maybe maybe I'm just delusional. But I digress. You will do what I say. You don't have a choice. You will give me what I want. Flee or hit him. But we're fl fleeing. If, like, Code Realize taught me anything, if you can avoid a fight, avoid it. All I know is that I'm in danger. I have to get out of here. I never guessed that Regis had been real. Ragus! I struggle out of his grip and bolt out for the door as fast as I can, and the sounds of my footsteps bounce all about the throne room walls. He's gonna catch us, he's a freaking demon. Anywhere is safer than here. Behind me, I hear the demon king laughing. He's crazy. His laughter cuts short abruptly when the door comes closer into view. To his demon title, the king commands the attention of all his servants. Enough of this. Guards to the dungeon. He, oh my god. I don't know how I don't know how I'm feeling right now because I really really love you. <laughs> Kenshin, Toma like they all lack us up and I'm in. I'm not sure what happened between then and now. At the mercy of the Demon King's servants, I can only guess that I was knocked out and dragged to the dungeons. It would make sense. The floor under me is wet, the hard and cold. I taste my own blood in my mouth. Did he beat us up? When I open my eyes, I see the demon king through the bars watching me. He stares me down from a high place without compassion or care. The book from the library is in his hand. I think I catch a glimpse of the weapon on his hip. What weapon? Okay, we don't see it. He gives a page in the book one last look over before throwing it away behind himself. To me. I need the keys. The what? My voice grows out, unrecognizable to my own ears. I try to pull myself up, but my body will hardly move at all. The guards must have really let me have it before. Dot dot dot. The demon king's gaze falls to where I'm curled. The clicking of his footsteps draws closer to me. I don't crane up to look at him because my head is too heavy for my neck anymore, but I still feel him glaring through me. Ah! 
The heel of the demon king's boot comes down on the center of my palm and crushing it beneath his weight. Oh my god, he's he's crazy. He's evil. Tears blur my vision while I try to flee my free my hand from under him. He chuckles at me when I do. Without remorse, the demon king twists his heel further into my palm. Oh my god, I will have it your way more. I'll play with you as long as you'd like. I would like that in any other context. <laughs> After the tendons in my hand gives out from under him with a shatter and snap. Oh my god, that hurts. Demon King elegantly lifts his foot as if he'd done nothing out of the ordinary. Cruelty is as natural to him as breathing is. The barred iron door creaks from above me as I start to sob. The Demon King's figure caused a deep shadow over me when he lets himself into my dungeon cell. Oh, he wasn't in the cell? Taken from a candelabra just outside through the bars, he tips a burning candle over where I lay on the ground. Oh my god. This is... This is a diabolic lover's level of sadism, man. Scalding hot candle wax splatters across the side of my face and neck. I spasm on the floor and try curling into myself to protect myself. The demon king is not amused by my reaction and drops the candlestick indifferently as it had been lifted. The candle snuffed out by his still bloody shoe heel. I'll say it again. I need the keys. What keys? Oh, the keys from the beginning of the game? I'd rather die than give you the- Oh, so we do know of a key. If I knew how to give them to you, I would. Yeah. If I knew how to give them to you, I would. But I can't help you even if I wanted to. They're like spiritual or something, not physical keys. Liar. I'm not! I didn't even know we had keys. My voice trains in a desperate way. You're quite stubborn. We're not finished here until you give the keys to me. My heart sinks into my stomach with dread when I see him draw the weapon from his hip. What weapon is it? Oh, it's a blade! His blade edge, his blade's edge gleams blue and he brings it down over to my side. Blood erupts from the open wound as he pulls it across the, Listen to me. the keys. Mm -hmm. Demon King stabs the back of my arm with his weapon, his expression relaxed. As I roll to try and bat him off of me, I see that some of my blood has splashed on his cheek. What the oh my god, he's crazy. Stop it! I need to get home! My head is spinning. That's Okay, this CG is kind of sexy, but... <laughs> what the frick? Little more than a deposit on the floor. I muster all of my strength to try and crawl away from him. Oh my god. I need to get I need to get back. Oh my god. To guild Tempest Pain. I'm losing the ability to understand what's happening. Is this torture? Bro, we've been tortured for like ten minutes now. Am I dead yet? Oh my god. Oh my god, these sounds. Holy. Dot, dot, dot. Did we die? You have acquired two keys. Ah, there you are. Oh my god, oh my god. Why is he glitching? Huh? What? What did we learn from this? Hey, well, let me see this. Okay, so this is Altair's CG. What? Okay, so compared to Battle's route, like, with Battle... I don't know if we got anything substantial from Battle, but with Altair's we just die. So does that mean that we have multiple lives? Or we're all like, is there are, are these different versions of Mar? Could it be possible that like every MC for each route is a different person? Cause, hang on. Cause the main character for Battle's route was more crazy. I don't know. Like they were so detached. While Altair's main character is more of a submissive. One day he would dream for another world. The whole stars in the Sium, eager to expand his territories. The Demon King obsesses over leave his world. Okay. 
So Altair, real life Altair is aware of Demon King Altair Regis. Hmm. Okay, so we got that. We need keys. So we do have keys. I'm kind of confused. For now, I'm just gonna go with we have different MCs and we just died. Thank you so much, Altair. 